Now, after a three-month trial period of the so-called well-dying law, or halting life-sustaining treatments for patients who want to end their lives naturally and on their own terms, the government has started to implement the law on a permanent basis. Our Parky June with the details. Beginning February 4th, the so-called well-dying law goes into effect, under which terminally ill patients can choose to die with dignity by refusing artificial life-prolonging treatments. Once a patient is determined to have no chance of recovery by at least two physicians, he or she can choose to end their life by refusing four major life-sustaining treatments, namely CPR, anti-cancer drugs, hemodialysis or respirators. However, they cannot refuse treatment for pain relief or supply of nutrition, oxygen and water. The law takes full effect after a three-month trial run, during which over 9,000 applicants signed in advance to forego artificial life-extending treatments when they become incurably ill. 107 terminally ill patients also signed up, with 54 of them actually refusing treatment altogether. Korean society has long demanded for a law that prevents the meaningless extension of life. The public, especially patients, are welcoming the well-dying law not only to prevent becoming a burden to family, but also to die a peaceful death. Many people decided to sign up after witnessing how others went through painful deaths at the intensive care unit. They are very welcoming of the law as it spares them from going through such agony and allows them to die with dignity. But the system is far from perfect, with some areas requiring government intervention. Hospitals need to establish ethics commissions in order to issue the documents, but small hospitals lack the resources to do so. They require human resources and cost support from the government to entrust the job to larger hospitals or to form a joint commission among several hospitals. Experts also say that doctors need to be properly trained on how to deliver the truth to patients who have no chances of recovery. Only when patients are fully aware of their condition can they decide for themselves whether to extend medical treatment. The well-dying law focuses on an individual's right to choose how to end his or her life when the time comes in a manner that minimizes unnecessary pain on themselves and their loved ones. Park Hee-jun, Arirang News.